Okay guys, CS2 is upon us, publicly released beta is um, out there already and many of you have gotten access to it and you probably uh, have experienced some problems with your config files. Your config doesn't work if you try to execute it in uh, inside of CS2 because it doesn't sit in the same folder that it was before. So before uh, your config file, in my example, for example, fry1 was sitting in program files, steam, user data, then the number 730, local, CFG. Really random, there it was. Now you want to copy this file, it will work with some little caveats. It will work in CS2 and I'm going to show you, describe these caveats. So you want to copy this file, your config file, and you want to uh, copy it to program files, steam, steam apps, common, then your Counter-Strike, then not CSGO. When you got access to the beta version, it installed this other folder, which is also basically the same size as CSGO. So that's not particularly fun that it occupies so much space, but besides the point, you don't go into CSGO folder. You go into game folder because game folder is the folder for CS2 right now anyway, right? And then inside of the game, you go into CSGO, I know it makes zero sense, but bear with me. And then you go into CFG. And here you copy your, uh, in my case, fry1.cfg file. And from here, the game will execute your file if you uh, simply, uh, like it was before, if you press exec, fry1, it will execute the file. There are some commands missing, but it doesn't really break anything and it will work as it is, basically. Now then, I'm sure some of you have experienced that you load your game or you load some kind of a config file and you cannot move and your mouse doesn't work. There are a few things that we need to fix in this config file that you've placed into Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Game, CSGO, CFG. First of all, in the CSGO, to move left and right, there was plus move left, plus move right. Now it is simply plus left and plus right. So for your A and D keys, you want to remove that move. This is the first thing. Second thing, for your mouse to work, you need to add two new binds. Bind mouse X for your, bind mouse Y for pitch. Then save this and then execute it in game again. And it will work. Your mouse will work and your movement will be fine. So this is like bare bones, what we need to do to get you up to speed, essentially. There's going to be more tips and tricks on Frytech channel, so please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, have a good game, and bye-bye.